Hello everyone, this is Flammy and welcome back. We got something special going on here today. As you might have seen in the title of this video, I have an interview here with the number one currently ranked player in Clash of Clans. That's right, Jorge Yao is here on Skype with me to, to give some of his thoughts and impressions on uh, Clash of Clans, what he does for it, and uh, pretty much how amazing top level play is and how different it is from what you guys experience. So, here we are, Jorge Yao. Hey guys, what's up? So, Jorge, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself, who you are in the Clash of Clans community, and uh, sort of what being a top-ranked player means, just real briefly. Okay. Um, so, my gamer tag in Clash of Clans, obviously, is Jorge Yao. Uh, real name is George Yao in real life, so same thing. Um, 24 years old, have a steady job, um, and being in um, North 44, obviously, and will always be North 44. Uh, they're my family, and I love them. <laughs> So, why don't you talk a little bit about the like, sort of top-ranked clans, because, I mean, some of my uh, followers who are watching this might actually not know what North 44 is, as scary as that sounds to you. Um, so, top clans, obviously everyone, you know, when they go on to top players or top clans list, uh, they always want to join, you know, a clan that's on there. Just name recognition, obviously. But I've always just followed North 44 since the beginning. I liked their shield, I liked... Um, their name, um, and I just followed them. So, and I was lucky enough to be able to join. Uh, they accepted me. I was actually probably the last, the lowest five uh, members in the clan when I first started, um, and they gave me a shot. So, so you definitely come a long way. Uh, speaking as we are now, what trophy count are you at in game, roughly? Um, I believe I'm searching right now, but I believe thirty nine fifty three is where I'm at right now. Thirty nine fifty three. So. Uh, while we were talking before this, how many attacks have you done, and how many trophies did you go up? Uh, in what time span? In oh, in the last like hour or forty minutes that we've been talking. Uh, the last forty minutes, I've had two attacks, which is actually more than what I've been I've been experiencing all night. Typically, right now it's been or all day essentially. It's been probably one attack per hour. One attack per hour, guys. And so, what are you doing for the rest of that time? Are you just sitting in your base building stuff? Uh, no, I'm working. <laughs> uh, I can't, I have a very short attention span, I have no patience, so I need to be doing something on the side, or else I could not play this game. <laughs> so, Jorge, what are you doing when, uh, for the rest of that hour, that you're not actually attacking someone? Are you just, uh, building troops in your base? No, actually, my iPad, I like to call it a screensaver, because all I see is the magnifying glass floating around my screen for an hour. Um, once in a while, it will say... Uh, no matches, please try again or retry, so I'll click that. But 99% of the time, it's just a floating magnifying glass on my screen. So you, you've had two attacks in this last while, and the entire rest of the time you've been searching? Correct. Wow, that's, uh, that's a different sort of game than what I'm experiencing down at oh, 1,500 or so trophies. What mm -hmm. is your current goal in game? My current goal is to be the first person to reach 4,000. Trophies. 4,000. So, uh, you're getting close, but, uh, did we talk about how, uh, how many trophies you're getting per attack? One. Always one. If I'm lucky, too, but one. <laughs> one trophy per attack. That's, uh, a bit of a slow grind there. So, uh, let's talk about sort of you and sort of your history with Clash of Clans. When did you first start playing? Um, I started playing right around, you know, Pay My Respect to True King, uh, when he, around the t same time he hit 3,000. Sorry, attack. So that was in October sometime, if I'm not mistaken? Correct. Beginning of October. I'm actually in the middle of a tag right now. One second, please. Okay, 50%, and I'm out. So just went up by one cup. 39.54. What are you doing right now? You're rebuilding your army? Rebuilding my army, and we'll take probably around less than a minute. So what does that involve? That involves queuing troops and then spending gems to speed them up, as well as spells and healing your heroes? Correct. I typically don't use heroes. Um, this last attack, as most of my attacks, um, if someone has been attacked by me, they can see the replay. I typically don't even use my clan castle troops or my heroes unless it's last resort. I typically am able to get 50% on any base with just 11 drags and dragons and um, 4 lightnings. Usually three lightnings will do it, but four I, I hold. So, and now, do, you, do you know how many gems that takes, roughly? Uh, I know you probably don't pay that much attention to gems at your level. 
Um, I think I believe it's ten gems to finish a dragon. Um, right as soon as you train it, I believe it's ten gems per dragon. I believe, or maybe it's ten gems for three. I, I yeah, I. You don't really pay that much attention. No, not really. It's not a problem at all. I understand. Uh, so going back to, are you uh, ready to continue? Yeah. Okay, so you're searching again. I take it. Yes. Okay, so going back to uh, when you first started. Uh, you actually started in October, so that means actually you've been playing for less time than I have. Yes. And so, guys, uh, this is what sort of the life of a top-level player might look like, uh, speeding up quite a little bit, uh, going on right up to the top of the trophy leaderboards. Right. So, uh, what was your, uh, first reaction when you hit the number one spot on the leaderboards? Um, to be honest, I, I had more, uh, excitement hitting the leaderboards in general than I did hitting first place. I thought hitting first place was gratifying, but I knew that there's so much turnaround and turnover with the top three players that it's really not a goal where someone's really going to remember for the rest of Clash of Clans, which is why my goal now is to be the first to 4,000. Interesting, interesting. So what were your previous goals? Um, so obviously previous goals, um, first was to join a top three clan, followed by entering the top players list, then top 20, top 10, top three, number one, and now 4,000. Well, you have to keep creating new goals for yourself, uh, going forward. That's pretty impressive what you've accomplished so far. Thank you. So let's move on to talk some more about gems. I'm sure that everyone listening to this is... Absolutely the most curious about gems. It's a very controversial and heated issue in Clash of Clans. The rest of us, uh, we can play the game for free, and then there are some players who just drop lots and lots of money on the game. So to start off, uh, how much do you think you've spent total on this game? Um, total probably between 2500 to 3000 So $2,500 to $3,000, somewhere in that range. Not keeping the exact track? Correct. Uh, but general ballpark that I would... Um, Willing to bet that's pretty close. So, starting in October, uh, how much per week do you think that works out to be? Um, I think that works out to be 200 or 250 I think, a week. Interesting. So that's uh, quite the tidy sum. Yeah. So, um, in the last update, uh, was that how, how did that work out? How did uh, that affect your gem spending habits? That actually accounted for, I would, I'm safe to say, probably 80% of all the gems that I bought were for this last update. So uh, it's probably solidly two thousand dollars spent on this last update alone. For sure, for sure. Um, just on this last update. Um, prior to that, it wasn't too much gem spending, mainly just for attacking. Um, I wasn't as serious uh, back then as I am now, obviously with with my goals. But um, this update really was was the uh, you know breaking the bank. <laughs> so what uh, was the turning point at this last update? What sort of rank were you at before? Um, I was always top 20 even before the update. I took a one-week shield. Um, everyone did, essentially, knowing that the update was going to happen roughly around holiday season. So I took a one-week uh, shield when I was, I believe, 15 or 16. So I, I maintained, you know, top 20, top 25. I did drop, you know, up and down, but generally speaking, top 25, I would say. So that actually sort of gives me some hope right there that you say you were not very serious before the update and you were still maintaining now uh, 50 to 25 rank uh, on the on the top players. Right. So that's, I find that pretty impressive. How much were you spending uh, per week before the update maintaining that sort of rank? Um, I would say probably like $100 a week. It really depends on the week and how often I would attack. Um, I'm, I'm a very cheap attacker, so I try to limit the amount of gems, obviously, I, I buy. Um so, uh, yeah, I, I would say probably around 100 a week, I would say. What would be an example of, like, a, a not-cheap attacker? Not a uh, person, but so, the sort of the strategy. So, with the new update, obviously, people notice, you know, if you have a level 30 queen and a level 30 king, it takes 700 gems to heal both of them. Um, some attackers, they choose to use both those heroes every single attack, which is 700 gems per attack. Um, I don't use my heroes at all. <laughs> essentially, unless it's last resort where I need to use them. But that's extremely costly, obviously, um, when you have to spend 700 gems per attack. And if you're a high-level high, high level cup like me, you know, and you're moving up one cup at a time per battle, that's extremely costly if you're, you know, 
hundred bags. So tell me, you spent you're spending currently, what was it, like two hundred fifty dollars ish per week, and that's a cheap way to do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to be wow, honest. that that's pretty mind blowing right there. Yeah. So that leads pretty well into this next question. This is a question from a, a fan on Reddit. So Dragon Reach asks. Uh, do you find it unfair that top players uh, in, the, in the top clans are constantly getting gems from the weekly tournament, allowing no room for others to rise up and invoke actual competition? <laughs> I think that's a very funny question, because if you do the simple math and logic, the 1,000 gems that you could potentially earn through every Sunday um, goes unnoticed for us top players, because 1,000 gems, quite frankly, isn't even enough to fill half of my elixir storages. So, in, in, my, in my opinion, I am a 100% advocate of uh, changing that, possibly, and giving those gems to maybe the last 10 people in the top three clans instead of the first 10 people. That way, you know, it gives the lower people in the top three clans an opportunity to move up within their clans. But it also rewards the top three clans for, you know, being the top three clans. That's an interesting suggestion. I'm sure you'll find a lot of fans online would just love to see that change go into action. But uh, you guys heard it right there. So what I've been trying to say since I made my first Gems video, you can't be in the top ones without spending a whole lot more than you're getting from the weekly tournament. Oh, yeah. Some people were thinking that uh, if you like save for a couple weeks, maybe you can pay for all the upgrades from last update. But you know what? I don't think you could afford those uh, that $2,000 you dropped in Gems in the last update just from saving for a couple weeks. Exactly. So, something that's also uh, on the top of people's minds about gems is, uh, is there any ways to get discount gems, and uh, what might they be? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously Supercell is aware of this trend where there are other websites out there that offer discounted gems, um, you know, in terms of so, using so, them. Hold on a second. So, this is for any sort of, uh, like, iTunes purchases, so, like, in other games as well. Correct. So this isn't just, this is a business run, not solely just for Clash of Clans, but all apps that, you know, have the option of in-app purchases. Um, obviously, a lot of these sites, you can Google them, and, uh, they, you know, some of them even have live chat, and they're all overseas. They, you know, ask for PayPal. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that do use the top players in, in some clans um, as discounted me methods of, you know, getting gems, obviously. Um, and it does work, but, and I have, I have yet to hear of anyone being kicked or being, you know, caught for using this, so. There so are I'll risks. explain how I think this, uh, process works for those of you who might be a little bit confused by this. So, these people are probably taking advantage of differences in currency exchange rates for other countries. So, you give them your iTunes account, and they purchase gems for you on your Clash of Clans account, but they, when they pay with their local currency, I don't know any examples. I don't know what sort of currencies they operate under. But they actually pay less in terms of the dollars if you're converting into their local currency, which allows them to give you a discount in exchange for making a small profit for themselves. And then they give you back your iTunes account, and you've got your gems, and you can continue playing. Is that how it works to your understanding? Correct. I mean, like I said, the logistics behind it, I'm not 100% sure. But generally speaking, that's, that's how the process works. And so, if anyone listening is interested in doing this, what sort of minimum amounts of gems would they have to purchase in order to take advantage of these sort of discounts? Um, in any business cost structure, obviously, you know, they want to, uh, you know, make sure that each each transaction is worth the amount of, you know, labor and covering their, their bottom line, essentially. So, um, from just searching around, I think the lowest denomination I've seen is, their, is Supercell's $100, 14,000 gem pack. Um, discounted, so that's probably the least amount you'll find. Oh, that's, so that's interesting. Only if you want to buy at least a hundred dollars can you go through one of these guys. So, sorry guys, unless you're willing to drop that much money, you're probably out of luck here. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not a hundred dollars. Uh, it's a hundred dollars worth of gems, but you'll probably get it obviously at the discounted rate. So, yeah. Okay, then I've got a couple of random questions before we wrap this segment up. Sure. So, from Crazy King, what's it like at the top? Um, boring. Very, very boring, which is why I found you on this forum today. <laughs> Indeed, and I'm glad you did. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, also from Crazy King, a couple more questions, two more. How often are you on? Uh, this week, a lot. I, this week alone, I've pulled three 48-hour sessions. 
48 hours in a row. So that's like a super all-nighter. Correct. And that's three of them this week so far. And I'm currently in a 48-hour to 72-hour session right now to reach the 4K goal. Wow. So uh, how long have you been going right now? Uh, so far, I've been going on since 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it is 11.10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So um, 14 hours and 10 minutes so far. Wow. So, uh, of course, this begs the question, do you have a job? Yes, I have a full-time job, which actually helps, aids me in this game and allows me to, uh, you know, perform well. Um, I work a 60 to 70 hour job, um, a week job uh, as a project manager, IT project manager. So when I'm searching, obviously I'm on my computer doing something work related to, you know, distract me or keep me busy while I'm playing. So you're trying to say that uh, actually having a job keeps you entertained while you're searching at work. Correct. Otherwise, you'd probably uh, drive yourself nuts. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even play the game or be competitive, to be honest. I just don't have the time to be able to 100% focus on Clash of Clans. So in, in essence, it's a, it's a love-hate thing. Um, it's good in the aspect that it does take a while to search for a battle so I can work on real-life work uh, without much interruption. Um, but then again, you know, when I'm on my downtime and I don't feel like working, for instance, now, it gets really boring. <laughs> so you're clearly not working much, probably, out on a Friday evening at 11, whatever, p.m. Exactly. Interesting, interesting. Okay, last question from Crazy King here is, uh, what do you do when you've got a shield? Uh, typically, I end up breaking my shield before it actually runs out. Um, a lot of people, when obviously, if you play this game enough, <laughs> you naturally tend to work your schedule around your shield times. So, you, typically speaking, I try to uh, time it so that I can start uh, attacking right when my shield ends. But typically speaking, I break my shield an hour or two hours before it actually ends. So, okay, then we got a question here from Falls Creek. Did you max out before spending gems? What town hall do you think you were about at that point? Uh, around probably six. Okay, so you started uh, spending gems more heavily around town hall six. That sort of makes sense from when you start. If you started playing in October, that's not that long ago. I created a count a little bit after that, and I'm only town hall seven now. So, the power of gems right there. Exactly. Okay, a question from uh, Apitz. How has your love for Clash of Clans evolved as you continually spend large amounts of money? Uh, it's a domino effect, to be honest, and it's a very good question, because I wasn't very invested in this game until I started joining, uh, you know, until I, started, I joined North uh, 44, a top three clan, because when you're surrounded by an environment of competitive players, you're naturally going to, you don't want to be the weak link, so obviously if they're spending gems to compete and make the clan better in score, you're going to fall in suit. So it really just depends on your clan and how far you're willing to go. Um, I, I think, you know, being in North 44 has a huge uh, impact on how competitive I am and how much money I've spent, but, you know, not in a negative, uh, obviously, way, but, you yeah. know. Okay, that wraps up our fan questions, but I've got a couple before we wrap this up here. Yeah. What has been your worst misclick? My worst misclick? I was... <laughs> The funny thing is, I don't know if Shady knows this, but I had him revenged, and by accident, I forgot my spell, so I had to end the battle, create spells, and hopefully get him again, but he was he was long gone at that point. So your misclick was you didn't build spells before clicking revenge, and by the time you hit revenge, he was back online? Yeah, so I Or had a shield. Yeah, so I randomly clicked Revenge. I don't know if he was disconnected or something. And this was when Shady was, I think, 3,800 and had a real, like a 200-cup lead. I, I clicked Revenge and didn't think that I was going to actually be successful. You were but just I testing it. Yeah, exactly. I was testing it and uh, ended up being successful and, you know, for, you didn't have to side attack because you couldn't do it without the spells. Exactly. So I, I had no choice but to give that up. <laughs> That, that's a sad misclick. It makes my accidentally deploying guys to uh, when I'm trying to get 1250 trophies look pretty mild by comparison. <laughs> yeah, when it's shady and yeah. <laughs> so uh, another question from me is, what is your funniest Clash of Clans moment? 
funniest Clash of Clans moment. It actually happened recently. I think it was earlier this week. Uh, I fell asleep in the middle of searching because I was just tired. I was getting, I was, you know, finishing a long session. I wanted one more attack, and I dozed off at, while searching. Little do I know, I wake up in the middle of attack, uh, middle of a battle with one minute left, and I'm just all groggy, waking up and just throwing spells around, throwing dragons around. I ended up losing the battle at 46 percent, but um, because I ran out of time. And the ironic thing is, the person that I attacked was actually a friend of mine who I knew, and so she, when she saw the replay. She was laughing hysterically because for the first minute, minute and a half, there was nothing on the screen. No troops, nothing. And then all of a sudden, just crazy things started happening. And, you know, and that, that was pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> your hard time for that one? Yeah, she did. <laughs> I think you probably deserved it, but that's a pretty funny one. I've definitely fallen asleep while playing Clash of Clans, but probably not in that high tense situation. No, and she appreciated the 39 cups that I gave her. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ouch. That hurts. Yeah. Exactly. So you even lost it on top of it. Yep. Oh, man. Okay, then. Final question for me is, uh, what's the best reaction in general chat? Best reaction? Uh, you're my hero. You're my idol. I get that a lot. Um, what do you I think about that sort of stuff? To be honest, I, I, I mean, I think I'm a normal person who's just as addicted as the next person to this game. Um and I, you know, I, I'm flattered, but I don't consider myself a hero. I don't consider myself an idol. I just consider myself a gamer who just happens to, you know, do well in this game. <laughs> but One, wonderful know. way to end it. Okay, Jorge. Before we wrap it up, uh, just wanted to ask you: Do you have anything you want to say to uh, general Clash of Clans players out there? Yes, um, to all you Clashers out there. Number one thing that I respect and that I believe in in this game is clan loyalty. And be loyal to your clan and they're your family. That's some great advice right there. I really like that. Uh, running my own clan system, I can see the value of that every day. Uh, before we wrap this up, do you have any shout-outs you want to give? Yeah, of course. Um, I'd like to give a shout-out to Clan Holland. Uh, they've been helping, assisting, assisting me out um, with my goal of reaching 4,000. Obviously, number one and foremost is uh, North 44. Everyone in North 44, the leader, Levesters, uh, Ahmed, Abu, you know, everyone in there, as well as uh, Clan Awakening. I have friends in there, too. Tina, uh, Riva, Crystal. Um, hey, what's up? <laughs> So, guys, thank you very much. Big thank you to Jorge, George, Yao for this interview. We're going to have another one coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. We'll be talking about uh, advanced tactics for high-level players, their strategy, and as well as some advice for uh, new upcoming players. So, thank you very much, everyone. This has been Flammy. Have a great day.